Gamers, instead of looking at and shaming my own builds, let's instead do it to yours. We'll be heading to the slums that is the Discord server and perusing through your guys' builds posted there, and I'll give my professional advice and a rating. Alright gamers, we've arrived here at the builds to critique section, and let's take a look at the first build here by Shadows. So he's saying he's feeling oddly proud of this for being a small shack, but what can I improve? Well, just taking a quick look at this, I can see that the shape is very interesting, but it's lacking in some detail and the roof does look kind of weird. So I'm going to quickly recreate this in Minecraft and just kind of illustrate those points by uh, fixing them, you know? Okay, so here is his build recreated by me in Minecraft block for block. And just taking a look at this, the first thing I can see that looks definitely very odd to me is the roof design. Having these like joins here where they're basically connected by like, you know, not even a pixel here. It definitely looks very strange in my opinion. Uh, yeah, definitely like this area up here. <laughs> Alright, and so here's my fixed roof design. Uh, again, it's not exactly perfect, and my idea was just, you know, smoothen them out a little bit. We don't have any of those weird joins where it's, you know, there's like that little angle there that's like just hanging on by a thread. We've smoothened those out by adding in more blocks. Now, the next thing I would personally do is uh, obviously add some detail into these areas. He has done so by adding in some barrels here, which is definitely nice, but the walls could definitely use some detailing. So the first detail you could add in like this is a simple little archway. You could even chuck a block in there like a chest or like maybe even a pot plant with an azalea or just straight up an azalea. That will look nice as well. Now as for the barrel pile, let's maybe fix it up a little bit. Let's do something like this and add a chest beside it and then maybe an extinguished campfire on the left with a lantern there. That looks pretty nice. Let's maybe even try getting some lectins in here. I'm gonna have to remove some of this just to, uh, you know, place these. And they're definitely a very unique and interesting looking detail to add. We could even maybe put some signs in front of these just to make them look even more different and uh, probably weird looking. And yeah, so we've gone from something super simple and basic, but with a definitely a very nice foundation over here. And I've just kind of put my spin on it and just refined it and polished it a little bit more. And just for the base build here, I'm probably going to rate this one maybe a 5 out of 10. The shape is, like I've said before, unique and interesting and different. However, it just needs some detail and some better roof designs. Alright, for the next build, we're just going to take a quick look at this one. Now, as you can see, we have another very, very unique style of build. The only thing I'd recommend really adding is just some extra detail by adding in these pillars. Like, see these pillars here? If we just added them, like, maybe every three blocks or so. But to rate the build as it is, I'd probably rate this an 8 out of 10. It's very unique. I love these roof designs of these towers. And the rune thing is a very interesting idea. It definitely looks awesome at night time. Next up, we have a house design by James DeBacon. Now, once again, it's definitely a nice foundation, but there are some things that I would change. The interior does look pretty cool for this one though, but it's just this exterior area here, and I won't bother recreating this just to show what I'd change because it's going to take too long recreating this whole freaking house. All right, and here is the house recreated by me. I've gotten it as close as I possibly could. It's not going to be perfect. Also, uh, yeah, it's mainly just the front of the house here. He didn't really show the sides, so I'm not even going to bother with that, just because it's this main front area here that I want to touch on, with the first thing here being uh, the leaves. They look like doo-doo, so let's fix them real quick. There we go, much better. Now, I know the guy was playing on pocket edition, so I don't know if you can really get the better leaves add-on, but I highly recommend getting it. It makes leaves look so much better. Now, the main thing that I mentioned to this person was this area here of the roof looks kind of weird. The front area actually here looks really nice. I actually really love the way this looks. The only thing I would probably change is this block here and making it a stair block. That just looks way better already. I love the armor stand. I love this detail over here. Oh, but also another thing I just remembered is these blocks here. You don't have to use fences all the way across. You can use some fence gates in there. It just kind of breaks up the, uh, you know, repetition of the fences. And it also helps with this issue here where your fences connect up to your detailing blocks. And to fix that, just chuck a fence gate in there. It's not going to connect up. There we go. So yeah, honestly, I wouldn't change too much with the actual, like, front area of this. I would probably change these trapdoors to spruce ones. Even though they're spruce, they match up with the oak logs a little bit nicer. And they're not as, like, standout-ish of a detail compared to the oak trapdoors, which really attract your eyes. And they look kind of ugly, in my opinion. Now, let's address this front little uh, roof area and the actual roof over here as well. Alright, and here is my version of his roof design and also his little porch thing as well. So, as you can see over here in the old build, we have a, a bit of a flat wall back here. We have a window as well, which looks kind of weird in my opinion having it touch the very bottom. And then the uh, roof of the porch here is very just kind of flat and bland. And another thing that I really didn't like as well is using stone as the main blocks for the roof and then wood as the trim. I like to do the opposite. I mean, to each their own, but I feel like it looks 
way better having the stone as the trim and then the wood as the actual main roof kind of area. And yeah, instead of adding in that little window thing over there, we instead just added in some pot plants up here, which looks kind of cool in my opinion. We also shrunk down his uh, massive freaking chimney into just a simple one block one. Now the next thing here is the roof of the porch. Instead of just having simply, you know, dark oak slabs there, we've added in three or even four different types of blocks here. But heading back over to the original build over here, to rate this, I'd probably give it a solid six or seven out of 10. Let's just go 6.5, we'll meet in the middle. Basically the bottom half of this base, I really love. This looks awesome down here, but once you get up to the roof, it looks kind of weird. All right, and next up we have this water wheel build by Toxic Craft. So we've got this nice like house style build situated on this nice stone brick foundation. And we've also got the water wheel attached over here. We've got another house on the back here, and then we have this little area with some logs and then another log pile area over here as well. He also has some other angles over here, like the back of the build. I actually really like this open area here. It's kind of like a blacksmith style, like undercover area. I don't know. I just really love that. I don't know how I feel about the beacons for like lights. Uh, they look kind of weird to me. I also really like this cross beam and then this area as well with like a whole bunch of logs. And then here's like an interior shot. Yeah, this is really well built. I actually really love this. And for real this time, I'm not going to be recreating this in Minecraft because it is going to take so long. Okay, and here's the build painstakingly recreated by me in Minecraft because the guy created it in bloody bedrock, of course. Now, please forgive me. I didn't recreate like absolutely everything, just the main like area that I want to focus on. So yeah, we're not going to talk about the fact that the back of this build looks absolutely whack. Uh, yeah, just don't worry about that. So yeah, once again, absolutely love this build. However, there are a few things I would change now that I've had like a bit of a closer look at this. The main thing here being this window. Now, I absolutely made sure I recreated this properly. Get a side by side view up here. This is how it is. I don't know why he decided to make this window like off center. I literally, all I would have done to fix this is just repeat this over to like make this a two block wide planter box and a two block wide window so that it's nice and symmetrical. Also over here, we have this odd looking design for the windows. I mean, it's okay. I would have added these planter boxes directly underneath the windows, removed these stairs so that it's just open and then had stairs on all corners like this. So yeah, once again, it's kind of weird, but it's not like, you know, the end of the world. Now I also will address their foundation. They used, in my opinion, way too much texture. They added in like mossy cobblestone, stone bricks, and then mossy stone bricks. And I didn't add that here in my version. This is personally how I would have built it to look. So I would have only added some very light texture with mossy stone bricks. Also, I have absolutely no gripes about this water wheel. This is amazing looking. This area over here is a little bit kind of weird. I would have added this same like pillar design in these areas. It does kind of stand out and look a little bit strange just having it as spruce planks. And also, in my opinion, the roof could use a little bit of work. It is kind of bland. I would have gone with my like, you know, signature style roof where it starts off as slabs and then transitions into stairs for more of like a gradual slope instead of just like these harsh 45 degree angles. But yeah, other than just those little nitpicks, this build does look quite good. And uh, yeah, honestly, I would rate this a nine out of 10. To bump it up to a 10 out of 10, I would have just fixed those minor things, but honestly, a very good build overall. All right, next up, we have a build here from Mahal. Uh, he's asking how to incorporate some wood, but I'm just instead going to uh, critique the entire thing. Now, just right off the get-go, these towers look way too wide and thick for how short they are. It's kind of like, you know, a chode of a tower, I guess. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. So I'd probably just keep them on this layer here. You don't need to extend them out again out into this layer. Then also for the gate here, it's very flat along here, adding in some simple arches in here or even some wood decals or anything on top of that. Even like this same like castle design, I can't remember what it's freaking called, but adding that on top of there would look nice as well. And now let's just quickly jump over to Minecraft and I'll showcase some different gate designs I've created just to uh, illustrate those points further. All right, so here's a big medieval deep slate gate I've created a little while ago. Now it's a very similar kind of scale, except as you can see, instead of having the towers cut off basically at this height here, we've instead made them way higher and we haven't gone out crazily with the, uh, like this area here. We've kept it on this layer. And also because those towers are so tall, that allowed us to add in this nice little walkway above the gate here. We've got doors that connect the towers up as well. And now here's a, uh, a very scaled down version and, you know, completely different style as well. This one's a desert theme, but the same idea applies here. The towers are, you know, to scale with the uh, thickness of them. The 
gate might be honestly a little bit too wide for this, but uh, it's alright. But here I'm just trying to demonstrate the uh, different style of just having an arch here for the gate instead of just having it being flat. And it just definitely increases the build's, uh, you know, like coolness, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. It makes it look better, okay? But yeah, I'd probably rate this build maybe a 6 out of 10. I do like the light texturing with the stone bricks and stone, but it just needs a few little additions to make it like a bit better of a build. I guess. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this different style of video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.